Do 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 do. Ow! What was that for? Can't you think of a more creative thumbnail than that? You know, I might be experiencing some kind of creative burnout. Keep up, Nix. That creative burnout video was last week. I guess I need to find more ways to be creative. Hello there, you talented creative. I am author, playwright, director, Nix Francois, and welcome to my creative cave, where I perform spoken word poetry solely about lentil peas. Lentils. Lentils. So small, so brown, going to tongue in my stomach. Boo, you suck. Get off the stage. Get a day job. Sometimes we run out of ideas and end up creating poor poetry about peas. But luckily for you, I've discovered five habits to induce creativity in your everyday life. By the way, if you want to be part of this party taking place in this cave, you should definitely accept the invitation. It's the big red button right below there. See, that was my creative way of asking you to subscribe. And without further ado, here are my five C's for cultivating a more creative life. Number one, create something about nothing. While I might have been joking about the piece poem earlier, a really good technique that I found in my creative journey is to pick something, anything, any random thing, and create a piece about it. My main art form is writing, so oftentimes I would pick up a random object, let's say a bowl, then write a random paragraph or a poem about a bowl. This technique could actually work for any art form. You can draw a bowl if you're a visual artist, write a song about a bowl if you're a songwriter, or even act like a bowl if you're an actor. If you practice creating pieces about random mundane objects, you will never run out of ideas. Trust me. Number two, change your routine. Doing the same thing over and over and over again causes your brain to become comfortable. Therefore, it becomes difficult to cultivate new ideas because your brain is way too used to operating on autopilot. One of the easier ways to get out of that funk is to shake things up a little. New experiences can help you manifest new ideas because they can help you to see the world from a new perspective. So instead of driving to that nearby coffee house, maybe take a bus. Or instead of scrolling through Instagram before bed, maybe spend the evening at a park. Number three, collect all your ideas in one place. Listen to me, if you are not already doing this, you are missing out. Let's try an experiment. Try to remember what you ate for breakfast last week Monday. I'll wait. You can't remember, right? Or even if you did remember, it took you way too long to remember cornflakes and milk or granola bar and coffee. You can barely remember what happened last week. So how do you expect to remember those amazing ideas you tried to convince yourself you would remember? Just write it down. A good rule is to write down an idea the moment you get it. That's why it's always good to carry a notebook with you wherever you go or write it down on the notes app on your phone. Let's be real. You think that you remember that amazing idea, but you've already forgotten it. Just think about it as your past self helping out your future self. Number four, collaborate with other creatives. I know that you probably think that you have the best ideas in the world, and trust me, I'm sure that you do, but getting another creative eye on your project or even collaborating on a new project can be an inspiring and encouraging experience. Back in my Caribbean creative video, I spoke about the Caribbean Writers Club, where writers can have their work read by their peers to get feedback. What I found by just being in a room with other creators like myself is that the creativity is tantamount to magic. You come away feeling so inspired. I know that it's sometimes difficult to put your ideas out there to other creators for fear of judgment or ridicule, but what do you have to lose? If they say that your ideas are great, wonderful. If they say that your ideas stink, well now at least you know. Number five, challenge yourself. Within each of us is the ability to design and create our wildest dreams. But sometimes we limit ourselves for fear of failure. 
I once had a student in my poetry club who wrote beautiful poetry about social issues. But when I asked her to create a piece about anything else, she would give up. She said that it was too difficult and she refused to push herself past her norm. You should never forget to challenge yourself. Push past your limit, if only for a little, so that you can see what else you're capable of. Because what is creativity if not coming up with new ideas? Eventually that student stopped writing poetry altogether. I guess she ran out of ideas or she thought that everything had already been written. I suppose that she was experiencing some sort of creative burnout. But don't worry, she got over it with these three tips. Okay.